Hey y'all, hey, what's up y'all, what's up divas, what's up divas, what's up divas, what's up divas and divos, what's up everybody, welcome back, welcome back to Real Talk Wednesday, girl, what's up y'all, what's up, so first of all, I hope y'all having like a really great day, a really amazing day when y'all are watching this video, whether it be today, tomorrow, or whatever day, I hope you all are having like a really great day, staying blessed, it's your girl, hey, we came back to talk shit today, with that being said, you know what I'm saying, we just gonna jump into this, so anyway you guys, it's Monday over here in this side of town actually you know you already know that and let me tell y'all it is actually 12 24 in the afternoon i tell you guys that i really didn't get too much sleep last night and when i did go to sleep finally this morning like i had to i had to stay home and not get up at six o'clock like i had to stay home i did get up and bring mumsy to school but tati brought her kids to daycare and school for me because you know she works nights but um girl listen let me tell y'all okay let me just tell y'all I don't know what it is, but lately I haven't been getting any good sleep. I'm still on my medication that helps me sleep, but I did didn't I didn't have it available for me for like three weeks. You know, I had to make a new doctor's appointment. Now I don't know if it has to work back in my system, but you know I've been smoking my little weed, okay, and taking my medication, and I really do not fall asleep like that anymore. And I don't know if my body is used to it, but I've I've gotten about three hours of sleep in total, okay. Even with this morning when I went back to sleep. I probably slept for like an hour and it was like a weird sleep. You ever feel like it's, it's, it just was a weird sleep. And in my sleep, in my dreams, I had these two pit bulls who keep popping up in my dreams. Now, when I say they keep popping up in my dreams, like I've dreamt of them on several different occasions, probably like the past two years. And they're always trying to attack me. And you know, when you're in a dream, you can't run quick. You can't move. It's like slow motion, but them dogs was moving fast. Okay. And in this dream today, this morning, they had on these blue, light blue, sky blue booties. Like the dogs, the two dogs were wearing booties on their feet. That's all I can remember. And I remember them like they was a distance and I was trying to get in my car, but it wasn't even my car. It was like this huge truck. So I had to like hold on to the door and I tried to hold on to the gear shift and all I know is they caught up to me and they was grabbing on my my shirt and I was trying to get in but slowly so they wouldn't really notice I was moving thank god I woke up in time like I woke up in time it's just weird but I keep dreaming of these two dogs and I've been dreaming of them for like either a year and a half to two years now and not only that but like the dream started off of me in this building like I've been in this building I keep dreaming of this building I don't know if it's a school it's shaped like a school like an elementary school or high school you know it's shaped like that like a big school takes up the whole block and I've been in this this building has been in my dreams for like since a teenager and I always find myself in the bottom like the basement I guess and I'm running up the steps and I'm always on other floors and it is a school because there are bathrooms there are classrooms and I don't see anybody in the hall but I always am running through the rooms and I'm trying to get out, but I always get out. But I've been dreaming of the same building since I've been a teenager. I don't know where this building is, what it, what it's all about, but it seems like the building stems from New York. It's nowhere like in a in a weird place. It seems like from what I can see when I'm outside of the building, what I could remember, it seems like it's like a lot of traffic, or it just seems like a like a familiar area to me. You know what I'm saying? But I've been dreaming of this building since I've been a teenager and it, it pops up in my dreams every now and then. It's not like frequent, like every dream, you know what I'm saying? probably like out the year I might dream about it like twice a year but I'll never forget and now these dogs are in it and I don't understand why they're trying to attack me now granted I don't like pit bulls I'm scared to death of them and I love dogs though I'm like an animal lover I love all animals so I don't understand why they're trying to attack me you know what I mean I always end up waking up just in time but girl I can never go fast enough so that was when I woke up to this morning too and I probably slept for like 45 minutes and after that I was like I gotta get up I can't do this I gotta get up so here I am, I'm wide awoke, and it, it is what it is. And I decided, you know what, girl, start wearing your glasses more, because your ass can't fucking see. The less you wear them, the more your eyes are going to strain, so might as well pop them on. But these glasses, I actually got them, like, I want to say, like, two years ago, um, I did an eyeglass haul, and I think they're either from, I think they're either from Zilu or Vuglam, you know, but they have some really nice glasses, they do prescriptions, because they did my prescriptions. I think I got, like, eight pair, or six pair and three of them were prescription and three of them weren't so i've been trying to wear them often and these are not the ones that i normally wear a lot you know i do have another pair that i like to wear more so frequently and girl when i tell you i don't know what i did with them they somewhere around here because i did have them on like last week girl listen it has been a 
cool i don't know what what's up with me but i really haven't been sleeping well but other than that um yeah you guys i hope you all are having like a great day now my weekend was cool you know sunday i went grocery shopping with the grandkid with my granddaughter and mumsy um saturday i just chilled you know all four of my grandkids and my daughter-in-law are now in georgia she did leave saturday morning at three o'clock in the morning and you know we have spoken to each other every day since the boys are so happy to be back reunited with one another because remember two of them were there the oldest two were there and they already started school and the younger two the baby the new baby and the four-year-old so those two were here with her so you know she packed up everything she shipped a lot of her things um i do have to ship the baby swing the baby stroller um because she wasn't able to bring that along with her the uber that she ordered was extra large and they sent a small one so she couldn't even fit it in the car so i do have to send the swing and the stroller and also she does have like three boxes of diapers that i also do have to send also to them but other than that you know she's gotten rid of like the old furniture that she had no longer needed but all of their main stuff like the baby shower stuff and kids stuff is all there and she loves it there she says it's beautiful it's beautiful outside and she can't wait for me to come visit i can't wait to visit too i'm super duper excited so i'm really happy for them i did cry a lot on friday and thursday when they came over and friday and saturday i did cry a lot you know i'm happy for them you know you, you still be happy for a person but you just know you're gonna miss them you know not gonna see them as much and there's always facetime but yo i really am missing them like i really was loving the fact that all of my grandchildren were here with me in one state but it's okay you know now her mother can get quality time with them too and i'll go and visit you know it's definitely okay you know you got to see the good with the bad sometimes so you know and then a lot of it you know not a lot of it all of it does stem from my son and his irresponsibility and if he would have been a responsible adult and did the right thing then my grandchildren would have still been here you know it is what it is and i just hope nothing but i pray nothing but good for them but you know they did leave and she said that the, the plane wasn't too the ride wasn't too bad on the plane the only problem was my grandson um to stick one he just wanted to talk to everybody he was being really friendly and i'm happy because he has come a long way you know he's went to school and they taught him a lot and so he's been able to communicate so much better so i'm really really proud of him for that and yeah that's about it my weekend was just basically just the same trying to relax watched my show i don't know what i'm gonna watch now i need some type of suggestions you guys because i finished watching stars bmf black mafia family i love that series it i did watch all three seasons i actually really ended up liking it i'm waiting for the season of ghost 2 the um the rest of it to come back on because i've all been caught up with that um, I guess I'm gonna just go back to watching Snowfall, which is a FX um, TV series. Now I did watch the first three seasons of that, and then I kind of got uninterested in it. So I'm probably gonna go back and watch it because it kind of reminds me of BMF and Ghost and all of those, you know, drug dealing shows, or even Raising Canaan. Like, when is that coming back on? Because I think Raising Canaan by far is the best of all of the Ghost series. You know, Fifty Cent be doing his thing when he comes to these productions of these series. He really does a great job. He did a great job with BMF, Ghost, um, Raising um, Canaan, Power. I really couldn't get into the force with Tommy that spin off that really wasn't my thing but also in um, September 29th The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon is coming back on unfortunately there's only six episodes per season which sucks so they only come out with one season per year from what I've been reading and it's only six episodes I guess I gotta take what I can you know what I'm saying but if y'all got some kind of suggestions on something then definitely let me know but also in October I think it is in October like the 24th or the 25th um, the series from is coming back on and i absolutely love the series from it is from the producers of the series lost which i absolutely loved um years and years ago so i do have some things to watch so you know but still i like suggestions okay i don't really like to watch a whole bunch of things at one time that's not what i do i will watch one thing up and then i'll move on to the next so yeah throw me some suggestions you guys it can't be anything like love stories because i don't do love stories and i definitely don't do horror like um or demonic i don't do my demonic so don't send me no shit like that okay real quick i seen this thing on youtube okay so you know i was i was scrolling and it was titled um 
I can't remember exactly what the title was, but it was just like the most unthinkable thing that you can only imagine and witness. So in Washington, and I do believe this was in Washington. Yes, it was in Washington. There was this black guy. I don't know if he was on his lunch break or not. And he looked fairly young, maybe in his 20s or whatever, had dreads. Now, I don't know if he was on his lunch break because he did have a lunch bag with him. And he was walking down like this alleyway where there were houses and it's in a school district. But he was walking down this alleyway in the daylight, like in the daylight, like bright daylight. OK, and he had his lunch bag with him and, you know, his pants were sagging, hanging out off his ass. And um, he opened his lunch bag. He went through like this open gate, like it was a, a messed up fence gate or whatever. And it was an alleyway. But, you know, you could still drive through it because a car did drive and there were several cars parked. So it was behind residential homes. You know what I'm saying? And he took this cucumber out of his lunch bag. OK. And he went to this Nissan, I think it was a minivan or SUV, a Nissan minivan or SUV. He went to the front of the grill of the car, stuck the cucumber in the grill of the Nissan vehicle, okay, started performing um, fellatio, you know, giving the cucumber head, and then pulled his pants down and started riding the cucumber. Okay, so, and then a white minivan drove down the alleyway. He heard it coming and stood up and just kept smoking his cigarette as if he was just standing in the alleyway smoking his cigarette. You know what I'm saying? And once they drove off, he took the cucumber out of the grill and went into where it was more open and made sure that nobody was looking like he looked around like that. There was a camera because obviously we're seeing this and commenced to stick in his cucumber like, yeah, he was, yeah, girl in broad daylight okay so now the cops are out looking for the cucumber man like how disgusting can you possibly be to do like it is their privacy like what i'm trying to figure out is what the hell is wrong with people like seriously what is going on with people these days um if you look it up you, there's a video on youtube with the best quality ever and I did watch it on the news because they did show it on the news. They didn't show all of that, of course. But there is a video on YouTube and you can look it up. It's called The Cucumber Man. And it's a black guy. And the uh, thumbnail is you'll see a fence and you'll see him going through a fence. And that's all I can tell you if you want to check it out. But yeah. Well, I was just like, wow, I don't know what's coming, what's coming to this world. Is it mental illness? I don't really think it's a mental illness because he, he made sure nobody was looking. He made sure to prop himself or get himself off of that cucumber out his a-hole when he heard that car coming okay so but this is my thing why did you go out in broad daylight in the open and do something like that like you couldn't have went to like a public restroom and did that or go to your own restroom your own house and did that like why did you feel the need to do that right then and there in broad daylight and you had the cucumber in the lunch bag like i don't know what kind of was this a dare was this a it damn sure wasn't a prank it was not a prank okay i don't think it was a prank Either way, if it was a prank, it's a very disgusting prank. But yeah, broad daylight, like, yeah, broad daylight. This world is definitely sick, okay? Definitely sick. But other than that, um, yeah, we have two sponsors for today's video, which I'm really excited about, okay? I love, look, I love a good sponsor, especially if it's something that y'all could benefit from. I love a good sponsor. So recently, I did a promotion for a hair vendor on Amazon called Floor Year Hair. Now, I did show a quick, short, quick video clip of me styling this unit there really wasn't much that I needed to do because it already came with pre-bleached Swiss HD lace that melted right into my skin Floyer and hair is now having a sale on their Amazon store with 50% off of their Bob units and I'll leave the code below that I'll also link the product that they are having the sale on which are Bob wigs girl Bob wigs are never out of season I know there are a lot of ladies out there that love a good Bob wigs everything is already pre-styled for you pre-bleached amazing units on floor your hair you can definitely check their amazon store out i tell you guys amazon prime get your on time girl as low as 60 dollars on 100 human hair units really really nice quality and i'll link everything down below you can also follow them on instagram youtube and tiktok as well but glueless hd swiss lace as low as $60 with a $50 or 50% off coupon code that I will link for you guys in the description box below. Amazon Prime, get your own top, girl. Okay. Sponsor now, of today's video is Dossier Perfume. Y'all already know how I feel about Dossier. I have featured them plenty of times in my most recent videos, which I'm absolutely loving. They have like amazing inspired scents, and I feel like Dossier is one of the best inspired scents perfumes. They have very affordable prices, they have very great inspired scents. And the one thing that I do like a lot about Dossier is I've had quite a few of my 
own authentic versions of their inspired scents and i will say 99.9 .9, they are dead smack onto the original authentic version they are very affordable they also do subscription based as well now you can get a perfume every month if you choose or you can just hold your credits on until the next month now, if you don't like the scents that you have gotten you can definitely in it you can definitely exchange it for something different i don't think you're going to dislike anything with dossier for one this one right here that i'm holding is my new favorite i have gotten this one last week by them and i've been wearing this every single day normally i don't give myself a perfume spray bath like i don't go all like this over my hair i don't do that but with this one i did only because it just smells so so good and the smell lingers this one is called musky musk and it is inspired by juliet has a gun not a perfume so your perfumes do come in these cute boxes like so and you also do get these stock cards which will tell you what it's inspired by what's in it and their return policy as well now musky musk like i said is inspired by juliet has a gun not a perfume girl this stuff smells so good oh, i can smell like hints of vanilla in it i don't know but the smell lingers i sprayed this on myself at night one time and woke up and still smelled good this perfume is amazing this has become one of my favorites and normally i'm not like a vanilla musky type of perfume person i like like florals and like citrusy type of perfumes and sometimes even like woodsy perfumes i really do like woodsy perfumes the most like sandalwood or like egyptian type of musk smells i love perfumes like that so i'm not really like a vanilla type of musk girl but girl you have to get this one this one is definitely a must if you have never smelled julia has a gun then go to your local perfume store give it a try smell it and then order order the dossier one okay because why spend a lot when you can get this for a fraction of the cost girl Juliet has a gun which is inspired by and it's called Musky Musk on Dossier's website. Now the next one, I think this is going to be my second favorite because I love anything that smells like baby or like baby powder or that reminds me of like baby products like Baby Magic Lotion, Johnson & Johnson, Johnson & Johnson Baby Powder. I love products that smell like that, you know what I'm saying? I love that smell. Sometimes we don't really want a lot of like perfume or like a strong perfume, but this one right here, this one is called Floral Pink Pepper and it's inspired by the Dior, which is Miss Dior 2017 version straight out the box you can smell this so this definitely has a lingering smell it does but it's very vibrant you can definitely smell this you know how some perfume is like so strong to where it's annoying you can smell this but it's like a soft smell it reminds me of like baby powder like it has jasmine and rose in it and it also does have vanilla and some other different ingredients that I'm not going to mention because you have to buy it to try it okay so this is Miss Dior and this is the 2017 version of Misty Yosheri, lingering but subtle. So here we have Citrus Peony, and this one is also inspired by Dior. This is the Misty Dior Blooming Bouquet, and this one right here, it does smell just as good as the others. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it does smell really, really good. This has musk, it has peach, raspberry, so this is more or less a fruity type of scent. It has apricot, peony in it, and it also has one of my favorite, which is Pergamon. I love Pergamon. I love the smell of pergamon you can spray it on yourself you can spray it on your sheets pergamon is like a really good to me it smells like a woodsy smell like a natural earthy type of smell is what i get when i smell pergamon but this one right here citrus peony does have like a really great smell yeah so this reminds me of very fruity um very citrusy like but you could also smell vanilla and rose in this so combined together they have like a really good smell and you get a nice amount of perfume for the price now you can also get some perfumes on dossier in bigger bottles the last one is floral lavender which is inspired by Saint Laurent's Libre now I've never smelled Libre in person but I have been on TikTok trying to find out the 411 on all of the most popping popular pop perfumes and that's how I decided to try all these four out. But floral lavender, and I do love lavender. I love the scent of lavender. Body wash, lotion. You know, lavender is supposed to be really good and calming. This smells so good. Now, this also does have vanilla and also has amber and musk in it. And along with jasmine, lavender, and orange blossom, and some other ingredients, but you need to tr buy it to try it. I'm not going to give away all the ingredients, but it also does list on their cards how much it's concentrated. Now, normally I'm not a vanilla girl. Like I'm not a vanilla girl. I'm not a musky musk girl. I mean, I do like um I do like musk. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Egyptian musk, or I love those type of earthly musk. But I'm, I never was like a vanilla type of person. But lately, I've been loving the smell of like vanilla musk, and I think that's why Julia has a gun has been my favorite by far now this one right here though this one right here is smelling real good too you can definitely smell like the lavender in this 
and you can also smell the vanilla. Girl, listen, y'all ready to smell good? Check out Dossier. I will link everything down below. Spend all your coins on perfumes, high-end perfumes where you can get inspired scents for a fraction of the cost, okay? Now, let's just get into this real talk. If you have a real talk that you would like for me to talk about, go ahead and send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com. Please make sure to put in the subject line, real talk, so that way I know that is a real talk issue. Or you can also email me at aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. If you want to change the names of the characters or the people that's in your email, please go ahead and do so. You can let me know. So if you don't want to change them, that's fine too, girl, okay? So on that, let's get into this. All right, you guys. So the first one here, real talk, traveling to get rid of this is what she called it. Hey, Auntie April, I really consider you like an auntie that I have grown up with. My name is Yvonne and I have been following you since I was 18. I am now 29. You always seem to give the best opinionated opinions in my book. And I mean that in a good way. I don't have any children. I don't have a husband, just someone who I've been with for now five years. We aren't engaged. Just he's my man. And that says the rest, I guess. April, I'm pregnant and I'm not happy about it either. I am the type of person who just doesn't want children ever. I'm going to school to become a nurse. I started a little late in life, but I was busy taking care of my mother who has a mental illness. She suffers from schizophrenia and was diagnosed when I was a teenager. So I was busy caring for her with no help from our family and I'm also the only child. I just never wanted kids and with this world now with the prices rising, the economy is bad and crime, etc. I just don't want to bring a child into this world. I've always seen myself traveling the world and what better way to do that is become a traveling nurse. I get to do what I love which is care for people and get to see the country and there is no room in that for a small child or a child in general. I was on birth control when I got pregnant so I was being cautious. My boyfriend is happy about this, but I have explained to him many times the reason why I do not want children. And when I told him this, when we first got together, he respected it. Basically, April, he said to me, if I get an abortion, he will leave me and move on with his life. He said I am a selfish person who only is thinking of themselves. But strange how I said I never wanted children. And the reason why was because I just don't want children. They're expensive, but also... Mental illness sometimes can run in families, and my mother is a schizophrenic, schizophrenic person, and I don't want that to be passed down to my child. As I stated, strange how he doesn't want and doesn't believe in marriage because it's only a piece of paper, as he states. That is the reason why we are not engaged, or ever will be, or ever will be married. April, if I did want children, I would only want children with my husband, which he will never be. My boyfriend's mother said I'm also being selfish and that I don't really love her son if I abort, along with his sister and father agreeing with their mother. April, I'm not getting any support regarding my thoughts or feelings. And may I add, I will be traveling to another state to have this procedure done due to the restrictions that have been placed on abortion. I will be traveling with my friend. I met her years ago from school and we are one another support system. I'm not concerned about what any of my family or his family may feel or thinks, but this entire traveling to another state is so stone age like, and that is what I am concerned about. I'm so at loss for words when it comes to this abortion ban. I thought we as women should be able to make our own decisions for our own bodies. This world has become so unbelievable with all the rules and non-rules and standards and laws. As for my boyfriend, I guess he won't be that for too long once I go through with this. It was bound to happen anyway because I will be too busy traveling to spend time with him. April, what are your thoughts about all of this? Thank you so much, Yvonne. Mm, girl. 
let's just talk about it now Yvonne seemed like she going through a whole lot okay like for real she got her mother who is diagnosed with schizophrenia she got her boyfriend who gonna be her boyfriend forever because he don't believe he don't believe in getting married because it's just nothing but a piece of paper and why bother okay so they never gonna be engaged I mean and why even be engaged because you ain't never gonna get married and then she got her boyfriend's family who feels like oh well she's being selfish if she aborts it and the mother's saying how she never loved her son if she go and get rid of the baby okay not only is it his mother but it's his mother his father and his sister and I guess from her family from what she says she's never had any support for them from them or help because she's been helping and taking care of her mom since she's been a teenager since her mom's been diagnosed and there ain't no mention of Yvonne's father up in this 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 story either okay and also okay like I said she she has to travel to another state to get an abortion so what are my thoughts I don't know if she means what are my thoughts on well she said all of this okay not just one particular thing but all of this there's a lot going on in this email to be honest with you and here, here's my thing I feel like she's right. Just because you a woman doesn't mean you're supposed to have children. Just because you're a woman don't mean you have to have children. Just because you're a woman don't mean you want to have children or need to have children. Some people just don't want children and I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? There are some people, like my sister, take for granted. She don't want children and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with not wanting to have kids. Just because we're women does not mean that we are destined or supposed to have children. Yes, that's what our body does, but some people don't want children and they have very good reasons of why they don't want children and I can definitely respect that. Now, like your says she don't want the genetics of being of schizophrenia to be passed down to her child okay so she's an only child so it's not like she would have had a sibling that might have gotten it she can have a baby and have a baby that has mental illnesses which is a lot of work okay definitely someone that has schizophrenia you know you have to keep up with mental illness if somebody doesn't want to have a child because they know in their family that there's a mental illness and it could be passed down and they're trying to avoid that then you have to respect their decision for that just like she's respecting her boyfriend's decision to never get married like she stated okay that's fine it was bound to happen that they're gonna break up because she's gonna be a traveling nurse and she's going to school for that and she ain't gonna have time for him anyway and i respect that too okay but my thing is this you have to respect people's decisions on their lives and their body i hate when people bring other family members into a decision that we have to do together but i don't i don't really honestly feel like it's his decision along with hers he ain't trying to marry her okay he already said that he respected how she felt in the beginning when she told him the reasons why she did not want to have children and i think if I was a man and a woman came to me with those reasons like I don't want to have children because my mother is a schizophrenic I don't want to have children because of the society we live in I don't want to have children because of the economy we live in then I could definitely respect that the main one that I could respect the most though is I don't want to have children because my mother suffers from a traumatic mental illness okay and that's the main one that I would focus on respecting, okay? Because everybody has kids in a bad economy. Shit, I grew up poor too, all right? I was wearing high waters to school, okay? I was wearing hand-me-downs to school. I was wearing non-name brand sneakers to school. And my mother and my grandfather, they raised me just fine when we was poor growing up in the projects, okay? So people do have children in being poor. Poor people have children, okay? And people have children. But, and there are some people that have children knowing that there might be some type of health issue or mental health issue in their family. But if you can say to someone that I don't wanna have children because of a mental health issue that is in my family, then I think that by all means you should respect that. And I don't really feel like you should be dragging nobody else in to your conversation with it. So she's dragged us into her conversation with it because she wants to know our opinion. I feel like this, okay? And I strongly feel like this, Yvonne. You have to do what's best for you, okay? Because in the long run, he ain't marrying you. He ain't trying to put a ring on it. He ain't trying to he ain't trying to put no paperwork in it. He not trying to marry you. So who's to say y'all gonna be together forever? Like just be for real, for real. Even if y'all get married, who's to say y'all gonna be for, together forever, okay? It don't, he could get married to you today and you could have that baby tomorrow and later on in years in life you can see the difficulties in raising a child that may have schizophrenia and that man could walk out on you and you be the one left to deal with that child alone by yourself okay with no help from your family like she stated okay maybe his family might help who even knows but just because he put a ring on it, if he did decide to choose to put a ring on it, don't mean he in there for the long haul. People leave their wives with kids. People leave their baby mamas with kids. People leave their girlfriends with kids for all different type of fucked reasons, okay? 
for real. Like when I say fuck reasons, I mean dumb ass reasons. Okay. So in my opinion, you have to do what's best for you. I don't feel like you need to listen to anything he says because it's your time, your body, your career, your life. And as far as his mother, his sister, and his father, well, they can just go ahead somewhere and mind their business. That'd be a problem with sometimes people. They don't know how to mind their business. Now me, I try to mind my business at all costs unless you're bringing me into it. Now this right here, as far as the abortion bans and traveling to other states to get abortions. Now listen, some people are against them. Some people are just like neutral. I'm neutral. I mind my business. Okay. I feel like this. A person, a woman needs to do what's best for her. And I don't really feel like there should be a law telling a woman what she should and should not do with her body. Okay. Because you don't see us telling men not to have vasectomies. Now do we? There's no vasectomy ban. There's no vasectomy law. There's no ban on getting vasectomies. There's no, no law on getting vasectomies or any of that shit. We don't have that law. There, I, I mean, is there? Cause I, shit, let me know. Cause I, I surely ain't never heard of one. Okay. When we start making up laws for women and what women should do and keep inside of their bodies, then that's what we kind of like overstep boundaries. And there's a thin line between boundaries. I notice these days, like women go through all type of reasons why they cannot have children. I have seen women not able to have children or need to have an abortion because if they don't, they can die in the process of giving birth. I've seen stories about women who have been sexually abused, you know, the R and they end up being pregnant. Why would any woman want to keep a baby? I mean, some do. And, and, and I give them so much props for that because that takes a lot of strength and courage to have gotten pregnant by being sexually R'd and end up getting pregnant and keep the baby. That has got to be the most traumatic thing to go through because when you look at that child you already know how that child has been conceived and for women who end up keeping the baby due to those circumstances i just give them so much props because that's a lot of strength that right there is a lot and lot of strength and courage i don't think that if that were me i would ever be able to go through with that but you see what i'm saying these bans and these abortions they are needed you're a woman we have bodies these belong to us not to the government not to the law abiding makers but and at the end of the day we are the ones that's going to be taking care of these children nurturing these children raising these children and i always feel like people need to do what's best for them you know what i'm saying they need to do what's best for them you never know a person's circumstance you don't know what a person could be going through in life that's like when when women go to these places to these doctors offices to these clinics to have an abortion and you see those those people out there with the with the signs I never forget. Okay. I never forget. Um, I think I was pregnant with my third child. It had to be my third because I was going to Planned Parenthood at the time for my prenatal appointments. You know what I'm saying? And I never forget. I was showing, you know, I wasn't like nine months, but you know, I was big enough to where you can see. And I was going to a prenatal appointment, you know, just as a checkup. And they had the the anti-abortion people out there with their signs right in front of Planned Parenthood as they always were okay and when I was on my way to walking in now at this time they didn't have anybody standing outside to escort me in you know they normally will have somebody outside to escort you in they'll walk you in so that these people with their picket signs don't harass you so that particular day there wasn't anybody standing out there to escort me in but I didn't really care because I didn't need no fucking body I'm my own person you know what I'm saying like what y'all gonna do all right so I'll never forget the lady came up to me with her son. Don't get an abortion. Don't go in there getting an abortion. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm big and pregnant. Ain't nobody getting an abortion. I just walked off. She tried to hand me her pamphlet. I just like flung it at her and walked off. And it was so like intrude. Like she was so she was just intruding in my personal space at the time that I really wanted to shove her and her goddamn sign into the goddamn coming oncoming traffic into the street. Like just get the hell away from me. You know what I mean? But I just felt so violated in a way. It's like, lady, you don't understand. People come in here for all different type of reasons and just because i'm coming in here does not mean i'm having an abortion and i don't really think that i could have got one at that time because i was i was showing i was nicely showing you know what i mean but i find those people to be so fucking annoying like literally fucking annoying those people are that they really do be walking around because i've seen it out here okay with their signs parading their signs and parading their signs into women's faces and the sad part about it is sometimes when women are being and sometimes when I notice with these women, they do have to go for counseling prior to the said appointment for the abort. And 
I just find it so, I don't know the right words for it, but I just find it so like you just invading the person's personal space. And they try to say these wicked things to this woman. You already don't know what she's going through mentally. And for these people that are parading these signs, I just wish that they would just go there. Just go somewhere. Just fucking go somewhere. In my opinion, just go somewhere. I'm, you know what? I just feel like this. I'm a woman, she's a woman, you're a woman, you a woman. What you do with your body is your business. And that's how I just feel about it all. Like I'm a very neutral person when it comes to certain things. And I just feel like we are our own person, regardless, man or woman, we are our own person. And I don't really feel like anybody should tell an adult what to do with their body. Now, granted, when you under a certain age, of course, we're going to tell our children what to do with their body. Of course, we're going to look out for their well-being. But and as a grown woman, and a grown woman we are. I don't feel like anybody should be giving us advice, unless it's your doctor, on what to keep in your body, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, unless it's your doctor. So the lawmakers of these abortion bans, I think that they really need to go back, sit down, have a great conversation with women, because I feel like the only people that made these laws were men, Okay. And women who are against abortion. So in my opinion, my opinion, I really feel like the abortion ban is ridiculous because you don't know what a woman is going through. You don't know how being pregnant can mess with her health. You don't know what it could do to her mental health, her physical health, her financial health. Okay, girl. And financial health. Yeah. Financial health. Because sometimes when people are broke and they can't afford shit, then they go into mental health. Okay. So yeah, financial health. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really feel like it was really incorrect of them doing these abortions bans now mind you there are some women that may have gotten seven eight nine ten abortions i mean i'm not gonna say you but i'm gonna say that's your body that's your business that's not my business i have nothing to do with what you do on your free time your spare time your time okay but i just really feel like there needs to be these laws need to be revised and i really feel like they need to reconsider what they have put out there and how it may affect a lot of people in this world there are a lot of mental people what i just say guy was in the alleyway doing some real mental shit humping himself with a cucumber okay and now we got people like that out in this world okay so what was wrong with him i'm not saying he was schizophrenic from reading the comments people were saying that he just got out of jail that's what a lot of people were saying that he looked like he just got out of jail i don't know they could be wrong he might just he might just like stuff like that you never know what anybody's freaky shit is all about um but it seemed like either he even if he did just get out of jail that's still a mental thing because who goes outside and does some shit like that so you see what i'm saying y'all are putting laws out for all kind of shit but y'all ain't putting laws out for the right kind of shit like seriously so if we're gonna have abortion bans we're gonna have some vasectomy bans too i think we as women should get together and put a ban on vasectomy so that way they can see how it feels for us to tell them what to do with their bodies that's just in my opinion you know what i'm saying everybody's entitled to their opinion but in my opinion i think like this hurt a lot of women in a long run you know we we entrust in the law we entrust in people that are supposed to be there for us and protect us and i really don't feel like um, abortion bans are protecting anybody at all you know what i'm saying i really don't okay there could be men out there that don't want these women to have their babies and then they can't get rid of it and they end up dead you don't know what can happen you don't know what the person's situation is what are they going through you really don't know and i applaud you yvonne i'm glad that you do have a support system which is your friend from school and i'm glad that she's able to come with you and try and travel to another state but far as his family is concerned girl please don't even worry about them go ahead and finish your schooling and do your traveling as a travel nurse and get rid of your boyfriend because y'all been together for five years and like he said he ain't trying to put no ring on it because he don't believe it matters but he do believe in humping you and making sure that you are impregnated okay what type of shit is that now see i wouldn't want to have a if even if i did want to have a kid i wouldn't want to have a kid with somebody that don't want to ever marry me okay but like i said even if you get married don't mean he's gonna be there for the long run but at least if you get married at least you could get something the fuck out of it okay if he do decide to leave and you do decide to get a divorce at least you know you was married and you can get some shit out of it i'm just saying i'm not saying be a gold digger and take his shit but let's both be in this to agree like this man don't want to marry nobody he just want to go hump around five years is a long time to be with somebody and i can respect the fact that you don't want to get married i've been married been divorced like do i ever want to get married again i don't really know like it ain't no big thing to me i ain't really like you know i'm like oh did i just tell y'all that i had another pair of glasses and i couldn't find them why was they right here on my little cup hanging on the other side this is me not really I, i'm getting old y'all but anyway like listen i've been married i've been divorced do i ever want to get married again i really don't know he gotta he gotta come correct and if i have to marry somebody else if i ever decide to marry somebody else he gotta come correct correct 
like all the way correct i'm not about to put up with nobody's bullshit i'm not about to put up with nobody's toxic shit i'm not about to put up with nobody's dumb shit i'm not about to put up with nobody's selfish shit or none of that shit i'm not about to put up with nobody's shit at all ever again so you know what i'm saying so i don't i can't agree with her, yvonne's boyfriend because i've already been married but do i want to ever get married again i mean i guess i can say that because i've already been married and i've already went through shit so maybe my opinion about not being married anymore is my opinion for myself i can't speak for everybody else but what i will say is if he don't want to put a ring on it and he don't ever want to put a ring on it then girl you need to go ahead about your business you already on your p's and q's and doing the right thing by becoming a traveling nurse and i applaud you so what you waited so long you didn't really wait long you're 31 years old okay you took care of your mother nobody else was there for you so don't kick yourself down about taking long and you did it better late than never okay that's the old saying better late than never as long as you did it you did it it couldn't you could have been 41 and you became a nurse you did it you didn't sit around and allow it to just fade away in your dreams you did it you took care of your mother in the process okay so i respect that and now he needs to learn how to respect that you got your whole career ahead of you you got your whole life ahead of you and you doing the right thing do what's best for you always do what's best for you sometimes when we do what's best for other people it don't help us in the long run it kind of stagnates us and fucks us in the long run so i always say do what's best for yourselves and not worry about others especially if they ain't worried about you okay now, moving See? right along hi april my name is joyce and miss lady i have been following you since 2009 from your old channel may i say you have come a long way and i love that for you from new york city to upstate new york to arizona you have come a long way oh, girl you all in my business how you know everywhere i don't live that I'm, I'm just playing with you i love to see any woman elevate and improve their life and themselves you and i are the same age and i really need to talk to someone about things in my life that seem to be going wrong. April, I may not mean my life, but the people who surround me in my life. I have a niece. She's 23 years old. You can call her Glory. So her mother, whom is my sister, seems to think everything is cute and cool. Not me. I feel like my niece is nothing but ratchet. All she does is get on social media, shake her ass, barely dressed, always fighting and running her gums starting shit with other girls chasing after men who ain't worth a damn dressing like she's ready to walk the street i have spoken to my sister numerous times about my niece's behavior and my sister says she's grown that's her business nothing she can tell her she's going to do what she wants to do april i am really trying to understand these young women i'm trying to understand what it is with this behavior that makes these young girls want to do the things they do my niece is now living with some other girls they are all roommates there is a total of four of them living together. They live in Miami. All four of them are dancers. You know, the exotic ones. So April, my sister is not taking any responsibility for my niece's actions. These young women have no respect for themselves, always fighting other women, always half naked when going out, always shaking their asses. These are the girls that she lives with is who I'm referring to. They do not clean their homes or clothing from the smell of it. When I tell you I have been to their homes several times and nothing but horrible hygiene smells, dishes piled up, clothes on the floor, laundry piled up, shit all over the place, bills be late, wigs a mess, BBLs a mess, attitudes a mess. I'm trying to still understand, am I being too old acting because I want so much more? April, what am I not getting? Am I too old and not with the times? I have my own children and nothing but boys. So being a girl mom, I don't get it. I don't think I would ever want my kids to behave in this manner. Please let me know, am I acting too old? Thank you, Diva Joyce. Joyce, what you're gonna have to do is learn to mind your business, okay? I'm sorry to say this to you. You already spoke to your sister about your niece who is 23 years old, okay? And she lives in Miami with three other girls. They're roommates. They're all dancers, exotic ones, like she says. And Joyce has said that she's been over to the house several times and it smells of non-hygiene or just hygiene smells. I don't know what is hygiene smells. Must smell stink, right? Um, dirty dishes, piled up clothes, bills late. What else? Wigs a mess, BBLs a mess, attitudes a mess, chasing after dudes, fighting over guys, I guess, fighting other girls on social media, twerking, shaking their ass, half dressed naked, look like she ready to walk down the street. Girl, listen, I know that's your niece and you said we the same age. You girl, you girl, you 52, you 50 as well. Listen, 
She your niece. And I know it's hard sometimes to walk away from family members, especially those that you love, that you have put time in, that you have invested in, that are your family. You know what I'm saying? Your blood. Your sister's daughter at that. Sometimes you have to just walk away, girl. Sometimes you have to learn how to mind your business. Like you said, you done went to your sister and you spoke to her about how her daughter is acting. And what did her mother say? She grown. I can't tell her how to act. She's going to do what she want to do. That's unfortunate that her own mother feels that way about her own daughter. Because had that been my daughter, I don't know. I probably would, yeah, I don't know. I probably would be in jail. I probably would be in jail because 23 is still kind of young. And I know, yeah, you over 21. You could do what you want to do. You grown, et cetera, et cetera. Don't you hate when you when you hear these young women or these young boys say that, I'm grown. I could do what I want now. I'm grown. I'm grown. But your ass so grown, you still got your hand out asking for something, okay? You so grown, you still need my advice on something. You so grown, you still need my help on something. You so grown, you can't even pay your bills on time. You so grown, your house look like shit, okay? For real. That's what grown people do. That's ungrown. That's motherfucking ungrown, okay? Sometimes you have to let them be. Like, let's like what I had to do. I had to walk away from my own son because his disrespect to me. But he swear he grown. What grown person you know cuss their mother out and tell their mother to suck that you know what? That's not what grown people do. That's what disrespectful, unhinged people do. Okay? And sometimes, as hard as it may be, you have to walk away from them, write, off, write them off and just be like, okay, go on about your grown business and go on about your grown stuff and do your grown shit on your own and don't contact me for shit. And that's how you have to be sometimes. It's hard to walk away from family and loved ones, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. And if your own sister who is your niece's mother is not trying to do nothing then girl you have to walk away because if you don't you're gonna just be you're gonna drive yourself crazy you're gonna drive yourself crazy i guarantee you your niece is gonna call you when she needs something and maybe that'll be your opportunity right there to sit down and talk with her but she living in filth okay i don't i don't know what's going on with these young people these days either joyce i don't know what's going on with these young people these days neither like okay we are the same age but you know something when i was brought up it was not like this when we was brought up we didn't have social media so i, I can't say that we was around we wasn't twerking because we wasn't and twerking but did we get on a computer and shake our asses like we didn't there was no internet when i was growing up okay the internet did not come out until i was 18 so there's some things that we did back then that you know that they do now that we couldn't do, do back then but i still don't give it a pass like just because we didn't have any social media doesn't mean we weren't doing things that we didn't have no business to that mean like listen i don't know what to tell you but these young people this is like a different era like straight up i, I can't blame everything on social media but it seems like a lot of it, it stems from that like people be doing shit just to be to get attention and like did you not get attention when you were growing the fuck up like straight up did your mother and your daddy not give you no attention that you got to be on social media clapping your cheeks together and doing dumb shit on on social media like i don't understand i really don't understand some of these girls do be half the fuck dressed like i can attest to that okay y'all know i can attest to that i love watching me the ratchet shows on tv like i said but that drama in real life don't bring it over here now i will say this the one show that i can attest to these girls have dressed is baddies like that's the only thing that i can attest to it i could definitely attest to it because they had their auditions for the new baddies i don't know what town it's gonna be in this year i think it's in texas and they were so underdressed these girls that were standing out there there had to be like uh, over a hundred thousands thousands and thousands of them standing out there on this long ass line wanting to audition to be on the baddie show and the things that they do while they're standing online to or waiting in the process of being auditioned is despicable like they are half dressed they smacking each other on the ass licking each other's ass cheeks y'all this girl didn't wash for days god knows when is the last time this lady washed y'all been standing out here for days on this line and you're you got your face in this girl's funky ass in the middle of texas heat and you're smacking her ass cheeks for the, the whole world to see now had that been one of my daughters and i would have seen them on that fucking audition line doing some shit like that the next time i would have seen them i would have knocked their fucking heads off but i don't know this is what people like to see this is what these young ladies i don't know girl i don't know yes and the wigs do be a mess I, yes they be a mess i've seen it all on these auditions and listen the TV is enough for me. I don't want to see the shit in person. Okay, the TV is enough for me. From what I was seeing, the wigs are bad, the makeup is bad, the outfits are bad, the attitudes are bad. It's messy. Everything is fucking messy. And with this generation, look, girl, listen, I'm glad I was born in the 70s when I was born. Okay, because had I been one of those out there today acting like that, I won't know what I would think about myself. I don't know how I would think of myself. Okay, the most you could do, Joyce, is just sit back. You know, your niece gonna come a time when she gonna come to you for something. It seemed like her mother has been and hasn't been trying to give her advice, but it seems like she more or less really hasn't been because like she said, she's grown. She could do what she wants to do. I ain't gonna tell her nothing because she's gonna do what she wanna do anyway. That is really not the mindset, the mentality to have against your children. Like, even when your children are grown and they do wrong shit, you cannot have the mindset of, well, they grown, they're gonna do what they wanna do. I can't tell them nothing. You can still tell them shit. As a mother of five children, 
All of my children are damn near grown. Mumsy is 17. You know what I'm saying? Even my son who passed away, he was grown. My son who went to jail, he's grown. He's 30. My daughter Tati, she grown. My daughter Nay, she grown. They, listen, I give them advice and I tell them right from wrong and I tell them what they did wrong and I tell them how to handle themselves. This is me. So you can never give the mindset, oh, well, they grown. They're going to do what they want to do. Yeah, that is so. We all going to do what we want to do. Shit, when we kids, we going to do what we want to do. As a teenager, I'm going to do what I want to do. My mama told me what to do, but when I left that house, I'm still going to do what I want to do. Not saying it was right or wrong, but let's just be in reality. People are going to do what they want to do, but that does not stop you from giving them good advice showing them love okay showing them how to act showing them how to be grown not showing them how to be ungrown you know what i'm saying like ungrown this is ungrown living i think like these young girls nowadays i think they just more invested in getting the attention of men because who else are they asking for attention when they are doing things that they do like on social media like making their ass cheeks clap have dress like who are they seeking attention from other females because i know for damn sure i don't i don't i don't look on social media for anybody's ass cheeks to be clapping you I, shit you ain't getting that attention from me okay so who are they seeking attention from I don't know a lot of them they come out looking real pretty you know they leave the house looking real pretty you'll see them in pictures real pretty but their houses is disgusting and them themselves their hygiene might not be at the part i've seen many stories on youtube where dudes have went and ready to lay down with a woman and it was like they couldn't because their hygiene was not up to par so i don't know what to tell you but yes this generation is a totally different generation there are people from my generation that are still totally like ungrown like straight up like okay i'm 50 but you will see people that are 50 that act just as young as those that joyce is talking about in this here email okay and i've seen it as well as y'all have seen it okay so my best bet to you joyce is to mind your business be there for your niece but just mind your business because your sister gonna probably get tired of hearing your mouth and then y'all gonna get into something i would just mind my business and then again i wouldn't mind my business it's a hard one to choose but you know what don't give up on your niece that's the one thing that i will tell you don't give up on her because she might just be going through something you know how we all go through shit in life we all go through trends we all go through wanting to keep up with the joneses we all go through different hairstyles we all go through shit and she may be just following along in the wrong footsteps her roommates could be a bad influence on her Social media could be a bad influence on her. Her own mama could be a bad influence on her. There's all type of reasons and re why she might be acting the way she is. So what I will tell you is don't give up on her. You know what I'm saying? Just sit back and when she needs you, just be there. You know what I'm saying? Go and check on her from time to time. If you go over there and you see that the house is disgusting, maybe you might want to sit down with all four of the young ladies and make sure that they're doing their due diligence to make sure that the home is kept up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what their issue is with being, I, I don't know. I'm not a dirty person. I don't like a dirty house. I can't, I can't stand a dirty house. That's not my thing. But each person is different. Some people don't like to clean. Some people are just outright lazy and don't do shit. Some people, it don't bother them that their house is in an uproar and they got dirty dishes is piled up and their clothes are not clean i don't know how it could not but some people are just okay with living in filth okay some people are just okay with living in fucking filth and that is what it is and as far as these bbls a mess well y'all know if y'all look up on youtube you will see a lot of articles or stories about bbl smelling okay and i'm not really sure um the whole detail and the rhyme and reason but i do i have read um, other articles and watched on YouTube that these BBLs do smell only because of certain fat cells and shit like that that they may transfer to your body and they may die off and that's where the smell comes from girl listen and like she said dirty clothes so you ain't washing your panties you got dirty hygiene we as women definitely need to be the cleanest okay and wearing dirty clothes and living in a nasty environment doesn't help okay at all and then y'all are dancers exotic dancers y'all go to work clapping your cheeks smelling like that are y'all even getting paid listen go wash your asses okay go wash your house go wash your clothes mainly go wash yourself because if i come into somebody's home and i see that their house is filthy then that only means that you dirty too because there's no way that you could be okay and clean and live in a dirty environment but then again there are some women that are totally clean will leave the house with a brand new outfit on and then when you go to their house they don't even got furniture or their furniture is on bricks and their bed is on the floor okay and their toilets are disgusting and their refrigerator is nasty and there ain't nothing in it and there's dishes piled the fuck up okay yes mm -hmm. yes so you you best be real careful on who you lay down with and who you shack up with and who you hook up with okay and women don't be dirty okay
don't be dirty wash your ass that's what you mainly need to tell i would i would definitely sit down with my niece that's one thing i would do and tell her and speak with her about her hygiene and maybe she might want to pass that on to her roommates but the most you can do joyce is just sit back and kind of semi mind your business and allow nature to take its course because she may be just going through something right now because of the living in situation that she has going on these girls may be influenced to her and they may be all influencing one another somebody got to clean up that mess and i'll be damned if it be you joyce but i would definitely just kind of like fall back a little bit but still be there if you understand what i'm saying i don't know y'all this generation is totally different from when i was growing up not saying that all people are like that but listen even in my time there were women that are just like this as well you know what i'm saying not everybody is clean not everybody could be like everybody but i'll be damned if i go into a house and your whole house is smelling like reeking ass stank ass badissi if your ass smell like badissi if your house smell like badissi then there's going to be a problem because this is some stank ass pussy okay yes wash your ass girl wash your ass but on that note you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this real talk it was kind of like you know different topics but girl yes wash your ass make sure y'all stay clean make sure your house is clean don't be inviting people over your homes and it's like a uh, disarray or any of that i'm so glad i found my favorite glasses because these are actually my favorites and like i said i couldn't find them and they was sitting right here on my desk i have this coffee mug that my home girl um well no this one actually was bought from my son best grandma ever it's a coffee mug and it sits on my desk okay and it has like pencils and stuff. I refuse to drink from it, you know, because I don't want it to get ruined. And I don't want nobody else drinking from it because I did have a other cup here and everybody else was drinking from it. And it was my cup. OK, but so I keep it on my desk and my cup, my glasses was actually hanging on the other side of the damn cup, you know, like that. And I hate when I do something like, you know how you put something somewhere and you say, oh, I'm going to remember where I put it. But then you don't. That was me just now. And then as the cut was slightly turned, I'm looking and I'm like, wait, what the hell is that? I'm like, that's my glasses that I've been looking for for days. I really like those ones the most. They kind of shape like this, but just a little bit different. You know what I mean? I really do like these ones the most. But yes, you guys, you definitely want to make sure to check out the wig sale by Floor Year. I'll link it below. 50% off as low as $60 on wigs. So girl, make sure you get in when you fit in. And, in, and also this wig that I have on is from Unice Hair, which is also on Amazon. This is a unit that I will be video, well, I already video recorded, but I do have to edit it. So I will be posting that up soon probably next week but um yes you guys i hope you all have like an amazing day check out dossier perfume let them know a sent you get make sure you get that musky musk get the musky musk i'm telling you guys the musky musk mm, the musky musk smells so so good y'all for real now see they don't really look that much different from these ones but um these are my favorites i don't know why but these are definitely my favorites but you know i started off with these ones today and these ones i'm gonna wear for the day Okay, but well, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Check the links below. If you are in need of an Apple Watch band or some sack bracelets, girl, check out my website. I will also post that below. But on that note, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. Stay tuned. Stay diva and delicious. Be safe. Be blessed. And I will see y'all in the next one. And make sure you hit the like button, okay? Don't forget, hit the goddamn like button. And leave your comments below for both scenarios. Bye. Bye.